My name is Kanabushi Chris. I'm here in Sunny and Stone, Las Vegas, Nevada. Filming a video today for Dynavap devices. We're going to show you how to use the AVB or already vaped bud that's left over from your Dynavap device and use it in a fun little recipe for sushi. Take our no bake cookie recipe that we have and chose one great from Betty Crocker. Make it fun and simple and easy just for all of you. All right, we're just going to go ahead and put that right in there. And we're going to grab our Philly cream cheese one third cup just so you know and add that to our mix and then what I have here is I already have some AVB butter that I created using my magical butter machine thank you guys for having it and we just makes everything nice simple and easy all right now what we're gonna do is take it to the microwave and we're gonna go ahead and go microwave it so if you follow me we'll get started what we're gonna do is we're gonna take and we're gonna put those at 15 second intervals all right make sure the bowl will be hot whenever you get done so be careful and here we go so once we've taken all our AVB butter our cream cheese and we're just going to take and mix it up to create a nice little dough so as of right now everything is totally infused and depending on how you made your AVB butter depends on how strong your actual desserts gonna be all right, just so you know, one of the guys, one of the things about the Dynavap device is actually called a TED device or a thermal extraction device, right? Where you take the process of decarboxylation and it takes and removes a carboxyl atom chain to create it from THCA to THC, which we all love. Now that we've got this dough going, we're just going to take it. Get this bad boy out of the bowl. And put it into the one right here. We've got our no-bake cookie recipe chilling in the freezer just to kind of give it a little firmness to it. Don't worry, the power of the punch will still be there. And just so you know that a Dynavap device is so easy to use that if you can roast a marshmallow, you can use a Dynavap device and enjoy its beautiful flavors, okay? And just so you know, that is also made in the USA. Something I really like. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna work this foam dump to create a nice skin, all right? Kind of like a nori or the seaweed for sushi to hold the no-bake infused recipe. And work this foam dump. Now, if you're familiar with some foam dump, you can get some in sheets, different colors, flavors, but we're gonna do something really cool with this one today. Now you're gonna wanna take and you're gonna wanna flatten out this foam dump to about an eighth to a quarter inch in thickness. And we're looking for just a little bit, around eight to 10 inches in length. It's gonna be a little sticky, so you're just gonna wanna work it, but you wet that, you're gonna wanna wet that cutting board just a little bit. And if you have a buttercream, you could use buttercream, but for this, we're just gonna use just a little bit of water to make sure everything is perfect. And you wanna take a stretch just a little bit, maybe put it over your hand like that and work it, okay, as you turn it. So here we go. And don't worry about if you rip just a little bit of the edge, because what we're doing is we just need to make a sheet. So what we're gonna do Take this little extra off, okay? Don't worry, you can save that for later. And there we have it. That is how we make a fondant nori sheet. Just wanted to bring back our already um, chilled cookie dough that's infused with our AVB. All right, we've got our fondant nori, which we can infuse that too. We're just gonna do it on another day. And I've already prepared a plate for us that we're gonna have. We're gonna set this bad boy up, all right? I hope you're excited like I am. And just like this, it's easy to clean. So we're gonna take our fondant sheet, and then we're gonna take and pretty much put the filling like we would with sushi into it. I hope you're ready. Now what I did is I went ahead and put everything that was together I didn't want it to sweat too much and plus 
I wanted to act like a little bit of a maki soup. So I put on a little bit of wax paper, which I recommend that you do because in, just in case out there, if you are using a fondant sheet, it will come in a nice wax paper as well. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna work this. All right, we're just nice and ready now. Oh, God, I smell that. Woo, and it's gonna get me stoned, I love it. Oh, this is a sweet treat right here. And just so you know, look for this recipe in the next issue, which is gonna be the uh, Thanksgiving special for Vegas Cannabis Magazine, because it will definitely be in there, okay guys? We're gonna save that for later. Okay, and what we're gonna do is we're pretty much gonna run it the same length as this, but we're gonna make this side a little shorter and I'll show you why here in a little bit. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take with your thumbs, we're gonna take and we're gonna pull up on the maki su. Now I could do this by hand, but for us, and just to show you that you can use it, but it's not necessary, we're gonna take and roll over and encapsulate all our ingredients, making sure, just look down in here, okay? You see that? Now we've got that full encapsulation just like that from edge to edge, okay? because we don't want it to overlap and things like that. It makes it a little, little different. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that and whoop, there it is. Run that, okay. Let's see what we got. Ooh, very nice. All right, so we're gonna take this bad boy. Go ahead and take this maki su away. It's done its job. And now look at that. We've got a nice, Beautiful and fused with ABV sushi roll or desato maki because it is for dessert. Let's make one more time, make sure everything's in there proper. Okay. And now we are we're kosher. Take and roll this bad boy off here. I'm going to take like this. And we want to keep our seam side down, okay? Just like in sushi, you want to keep your seam side down. And we're just going to take and do a little formation once more. Okay. Now what we're doing today, we're definitely going to make this look like a Dynavap device. Okay, so get ready. The exciting part's coming up. So now that we've done that, what we're going to do is, we've got a little bit in the edge here, and that's going to be for our mouthpiece. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to work it. We're going to work it. Right, work that phone doll. Okay. If you want to add a little slickness to your hands, you can take boom, right? And just we're gonna work it like we're gonna work putty. We'll turn our water on real low. We're gonna cut this bad boy up. You ready? Now what I've got here is a nice white steel blade, Japanese. All right, recommend you don't need to use it. It's not the cost of the blade, it's the, it's the, it's the cut it makes. So what we do is we add a little wetness here. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make eight pieces, equal pieces. Just like in the world of sushi, but this one we're gonna do a little different. Gonna add a little flair to it and you'll see why in just a moment. And like I said, the Dynavap device is actually a very clean, efficient, uh, very inexpensive device. Easy to clean, made in the USA. And hey, if you're out camping, it's probably one of the best ways to go. One more roll around, just to make sure everything's nice and beautiful. And right here, we're gonna keep this one just a little bigger, and that's a surprise. Okay. We're gonna work these pieces till they're nice and straight, and end up looking great. We're gonna take this, move it off to the side. I am going to change papers like that, okay? A little technique. Go roly poly. Wow, look at that. 
Now I hope you saved your pieces that we cut off of the, creating the nori sheet because we're going to use that right now. You know what? Let's do it like this. We're going to take and separate it. You've got to keep them separated. So, we're going to take, roll this bad boy out. Okay? And we are going to create a nice little cap. For the VAP cap, actually. VAP cap, if you make sure to listen for the double click, that's when you know it's ready and that's going to have be beautiful and beautiful flavor. You can enjoy your. AV, you can enjoy your marijuana correctly. So, what we're doing is we're going to take and pull this bad boy out to create that VAP cap specific to the DynaVap device. What we're going to do is we're just going to take and give her a little love. Love, a little love goes a long way, guys. We're looking for that cylindrical effect. Don't worry, you can play with your food. Okay, it makes it fun. It's okay to play with your food, especially if you're gonna get stumped off it, guys. Don't worry about that. Okay. So, ooh, look at that. You guys see that in there? A little, little surprise gift in there. So, what we're gonna do is the patented VAP cap. Double click, like I said. Take this bad boy and work it. Okay, work this bad boy to make it special. Okay, and we're just going to take that, just like that. Okay. And make sure that whenever you guys are checking out the DynaVap devices on DynaVap.com, that you use my code Kanabushi at checkout for a great discount. Now, let's do something special. I'm going to take... Create the patented titanium device. Now, let's make this bad boy really cool. Stretch this out. A little love, okay? Just take your finger and ring it. Call it a ringer. Alright, fold this bad boy up so we know, we know it looks like our piece. Okay. Alright. Now, these things, made in the USA, are also made out of titanium. So, let's make it titanium. Gotta make sure to load it up proper, huh? Almost forgot about that short-term memory loss, guys. So let's get this beautiful green. Nice. Make it titanium. Now, just so you know, titanium is not safe to eat, guys, but this is food safe. Dap cap and finish it off.
And there we have it, guys. Our own little Dynavap device dessert sushi roll. Thank you guys so much for watching this with me. Make sure to check out www.dynavap.com. Use my code Kanabushi at checkout. And now you got a recipe to use your ABB for. Make sure that you know that this is a, a high efficiency heat source independent device. Extremely durable, easy to clean, and you can get it at a great rate. Thank you so much, Kanabushi Chris. All you stoners and stonets, thank you, Las Vegas, Nevada.